So that building there on the corner of Main and Adams was the Claridge Hotel. And this was where a charity luncheon was held on Elvis Presley Day on February 25th, 1961 in the Balinese room up on the second floor. All dignitaries, including Mayor Loeb, uh, were here to salute Elvis before uh, he was to perform his um, char two charity shows at the Ellis Auditorium that afternoon and evening. Elvis, uh, being Elvis, was a little late showing up for the luncheon, missed the press conference at the very start. Uh, but did hold another conference after the lunch where he answered questions. So it's nice, it's called Claridge House now actually, but uh, it's very much similar to how it was in 1961. Another building that was derelict for many years but has been repurposed. Oh, it's for sale or lease, perhaps it's empty again then. From here, Elvis is over to Ellis Auditorium, just a block away up there, for his charity shows. After the charity luncheon at the Claridge, Elvis made his two charity performances here at the Ellis Auditorium that night, an afternoon and an evening show, where, which would be his last performances in Memphis until he returned to the Mid-South Coliseum in 1974. So this is the Tennessee State Capitol building. And Elvis came here on the 8th of March. 1961 to address the state legislature on receiving the honorary title of colonel which of course he never used like Tom Parker uh, let's go up to the car just here you see the photos with Joe Esposito with that building there in the background later on with Elvis leaving you can see him just here, struggling to get into the car. And just immediately, immediately prior to that. Of course there's many, many photos, but uh, just prior to that you can see, again, Elvis struggling to get through the crowds. Coming down the steps here. From here then, Elvis and the gang with uh, the Governor's daughter Anne Ellington drove out to the Tennessee State Penitentiary to have a visit with Johnny Bragg, the founder of the Prisoners Vocal Group. They wouldn't let Anne Ellington in so she had to stay in the car. With um, Alan Fortas while Elvis and Joyce was he demanded to see him before they drove back home to Graceland in the Rolls Royce. Uh, Following Elvis's appearance here at the state legislature, four days later he was back in Nashville at Studio B recording tracks for the Something for Everybody album. Excuse the sun, but on that corner there, where the Hampton now stands, was the Anchor Motel. Um, one that Elvis favoured in the early 60s while he was recording at Studio B. He was back here in March 61. 
um, where he recorded tracks for uh, the Something For Everybody album. A couple of weeks later he was flying to Hawaii for the Pearl Harbor Memorial concert and of course to make Blue Away and that would that live performance would be his last live performance until he appeared before an audience on the comeback or the NBC special in June 68.
This house we're coming up upon now was another of Vernon's houses. Um, we married Dee Stanley in July 1960, but Elvis never really felt comfortable with Dee in the house taking the place of his mother. And in December 61, Vernon and Dee moved into that house up there. 